All right, so today's adventure is the Cunningham Children's Home, and it's fracking cold out, so I'm doing this one from the car. You can see it over there. So I first thought this place was like a single building, but then I actually discovered it's an entire campus. I actually got lost over here first. I guess starting off, um, who are you and how did you get involved with the Cunningham Children's Home? I'm Tyler Gavilli, I'm the one of ambitious students and community engagement this semester. So I got involved actually really early on with the Cunningham Project. With, uh, uh, I believe Rosalie and you, Stephanie, contacted us and Trisha to have their photo archive taken care of uh, this past summer. Um, I'm Amber Vestas, and has put and Bishop has put this project on the list of potential uh, projects to the class. And I've lived in town for a long time, and town's really transitional. Uh, but the Cunningham has consistently come up as the entire time I've been living here as something that people have been involved with. Well, Oh, that was really interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Logan Moore, and I'm focused on Cunningham today. She's work here. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lazy, and I sketched in at Cunningham as a staff person for 15 years. My job is church and community relations, but that broadens to a whole lot of things, <laughs> including history. We have a ton of photographs going all the way back to the early part of the 1900s. They are in albums, but they aren't well marked. And all we do is collect all of these things. And what we need is to preserve our history. We have 113 years of history. We have amazing pictures of that. And we want to learn how to do it the dean is good training on how to keep things organized, organize them and preserve them properly. So this rich history that we have in media, we can use to remember, to learn what we do today. So I see you've got this pile of photos out on the table here. Can you explain to me a little bit what these are about, um, what you've been doing with them, what they represent? This we've been talking about Cunningham's history, and we're introduced to the people who made Cunningham Children's Home possible, Judge and Mrs. Cunningham, who moved way out west from Ohio, out to the wild lands of Urbana, Illinois, uh, about the mid-1800s. I actually call these people activists. They came into the community, they were dynamic, um, together they helped found the Urbana Free Library as we know it today. They decided they would like a summer home way, way out in the country in Urbana. And they bought this home that had been built by Samuel Waters in 1880, the Cunninghams bought it. And, um, when they decided to move back into town, they went to the women of their church conferences. They offered them the home and 15 acres of land if they would forever keep the home and the land as a place to care for children in need. Some of the orphanage days, and we were a communal living facility. We began to build small homes. This system remains in place today, but obviously the kids have changed and so have their needs. As Cunningham has evolved from orphanage to raising dependent children to treating kids with disorders, it's very, very complex today. And thanks to our new facility here on campus, we have the cottages built to work with these kids. Cunningham evolved, will continue evolving. The mission seems the same to care for kids in need. The way we do it has changed, and that's why we're here today. I 
Okay. Um, so how do you see your work here being connected to community informatics? Then? I think it, first off, it involves community engagement clearly because um, it's literally the library school working with the community. But also, uh, you know, information is everywhere. And as we build up these histories, as we build up this, this body of information, more people need these skills, more people need to know how to, how to handle those. Uh, one of the reasons that we're doing this is to, you know, like Rebecca said, to teach other people. And that way also, like, one see with the recommendations, hopefully, that, you know, like, the, that the staff at Cunningham will be able to process the material. I think it's got a nice ripple effect, too. Yeah. Um, it, it's, a, it's a way that we're getting involved with the Champaign-Urbana community and being involved with Cunningham, but the Cunningham then is using informatics to involve their community, their historical community, people who are quite all over the world now, but have w at one point in their life before it is. All right, so we are walking into the midst of their operation. <laughs> so this is pretty much where their photo albums are stored. That we're working on. Um, as you can see, there are actually in photo albums. Majority of them are. Um, this is the previous organization that um, um, Stephanie has been doing. So they're in photo binders. Um, and what we're doing is we're keeping the the same organization as what they're doing for you know for easy access. One of the reasons that we're going to be doing is the preservation. Yeah, this is it right now. We will definitely have more recommendations uh, in the next couple of weeks. These are photo albums that former residents have given us. Mm -hmm. We want the pictures, but we want to redo them learn how to do them so that we have them forever. And we're not even sure what all we have in those. <laughs> right. That was pretty much where, how we started, too. Yeah, exactly. Just taking all of them and trying to identify, first off, in this room where, mm -hmm. where the photo elements were, and then taking them and trying to identify as much as we could what was in each of the albums. Mm -hmm. And we're actually doing that either by year, yeah, just a range of years, or like what Stephanie said, by event, you know, subjects, basically. Um, when we first got in here, the photos were actually a little bit scattered in this room. And there are other materials too. So what's the yeah. most fun part? For me, it's actually the photographs. It's a lot of fun looking at them, you know, it's just like, there's so many years, it's just the change of the photos, how, you know, like, everybody, like, are standing, the gestures, the clothes you're wearing, it's, it's a lot of fun. We are really thrilled to be able to do this. You know, that, that's been, it's been fun for us. It's been fun working with you all. We're, we're learning things as you go along. So. And we're learning too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>